just uh, I'm the face of CIP up at this table, but I have to acknowledge my colleagues, Bob Reardon, Jim Sampson, Gary Peterson. We are a CIP team at Florida State. Also in this room are numerous graduate students yes. and career center staff who live and implement CIP theory every single day of the week, uh, not only to students, but to community individuals and adults and high school students. So um, I don't know if you've seen the most recent issue of NCDA's Career Developments magazine, but the title of that is Meaningful Career Transitions. And while I'm about fun as much as anybody, anybody who knows me, leisure is a high value in my SIGI values, but um, they outline the demographics, demographics of our country, but really in the world, of all the individuals who need career services, from people in their second and third careers, from veterans to immigrants to underemployed individuals. Uh, I was in a session earlier on people who are unemployed and struggling with mental health issues, and our vision has to be in inclusive and far-reaching, and we have to find ways to extend our services beyond the one-on-one, -on -one, the, the career centers that we all work in, uh, partner with our workforce centers, partner with our community mental health centers, the Joe's work with farmers in Missouri. We've all got to embrace that vision of how can we extend services to all of these individuals. And we have wonderful theory and we have wonderful practice. But theory without practice is meaningless, and practice without theory is blind. And so I hope we'll figure out a way to take all of this knowledge and extend it to individuals that we may not be reaching right now. Thank you, Janet.